gonna go over the magic's explanation herself what does she say about all these four demons so four demons as you know the buddha has already had, had the four demons and the magic kind of uh, very similar but a little bit different her version of it so if you have a te book actually this do you have a magic's explanation the uh, thick one okay page 100 to 17. It's the first chapter uh, talks quite a bit uh, about uh, demons and um, the, her definition. So basically her definition of the demons, uh, Sarah translates as a devil. I don't know how you think about that, that translation, devil. And uh, English is not my first language, so uh, yeah, anyway, so devil, she translates. A devil is anything that obstructs the achievement of freedom. And so they take a moment to think. So anything that obstructs or uh, prevent you from achieving the freedom. So that's uh, uh, quite a bit, no? <laughs> so human condition. So as, as long as we are human, we are living in the, in the mercy of uh, karma, right? So samsara defined by existence controlled by the affliction and karma. So that uh, means uh, we have a devils or the demons. So then she talks about the four kinds of demons. These translations are very interesting. In the tome, tokche ki du, tokche, tok means the um, uh, kind of obstruct, tangible. Tokche is a tangible demons or material demons. She translates material demon or outer demons. So external object. So it's a kind of anything of the sense object, right? Sense object like a form, sounds, uh, what is it? Smell and then tactile, all these things. So so based on that. Sometimes we uh, generate attachment or aversion, you know, all these two poles, right? So those are called the uh, uh, material demons. She talks about the form that, for example, material devil is a form that is with eyes. Attractions arise in relation to fine form. But actually it's not the so-called external uh, Perception is a nanwa. Nanwa is, a, we, we think that external thing, but it's actually nanwa is a perception and appearance and the, uh, phenomena. So the, our reaction to, uh, um, to whatever, often we use the, the example of the personal relationship. For example, your partner is not the devil or the demons in your relation to that person. Either you hate or you create a strong attachment or the hatred, then uh, that becomes a demon. Right? So that's clear, right? So any, any, anything else, any other examples you are working with right now, current, currently at this point, in terms of material devil? You have a, a kind of on, on occurring uh, material devil, you already cut through everything. <laughs> so even like a hoods, for example, uh, quite a bit of aversion to certain things. I mean, yeah, like a smell, senses, quite a bit of um, demons we have. Anybody? It's kind of nice to My my cup of coffee in the morning is my um, demon that I find very hard to let go. <laughs> you do cup of coffee is innocent cup cup of coffee. Oh, okay. <laughs> but your uh, attachment to to that uh, cup of coffee. Yeah. Could okay. be could be uh, uh, the material the devil. Are you thinking? Yeah. Seriously, I, I find 
my relationship with my children is really a strong thing for practice. Um, all the, you know, the, the, the wish for them to be happy, the, the grief over mistakes one has made. Um, it's a very strong emotion to deal with and and I think show is wonderful because it takes you right into the middle of it mm. rather than trying to negate it somehow. Yeah, great. Thank you. So then what's Magic saying about that? What to do about that? Mm. She is saying, meditating on the natural emptiness without attraction or a version to form, for example. Since the form is by nature without real existence. Mere, mere, M-E-R-E, mere appearance without grasping onto its valid existence. Without eliminating, clinging, to that mere appearance, you will be liberated from form, noble sun. So another way to do is resting in the open space, open awareness. <laughs> so one thing you can do, uh, Tibetan yogic exercise, first intensify it, bring in the, all the demons and intensify that emotion or whatever. Then, that uh, we use the syllable ha, but this case, chill case, the pe. Pe! Kind of blasting out, <laughs> like a, uh, popping the uh, balloons or kind of thing. Intensify it and the pe. Then just rest. Rest in that natural uh, state of open awareness without any expectations. The mix uh, your awareness with the uh, Dharma Dhatu, realm of totality, or Prajna Paramita, Great Mother. And just this. Yes.